A surprise announcement from the president-elect Donald Trump telling the crowd his choice for Secretary of Defense during his thank you tour in Cincinnati. We are going to appoint Mad Dog Mattis as our Secretary of Defense. But we're not announcing it till Monday, so don't tell anybody. That was pretty funny. Here now is Lieutenant General Thomas McInerney, a Fox News military analyst. Thank you so much for joining us. So, of course, everyone immediately brings up the idea that a person can't be appointed as Secretary of Defense within seven years after relief from active duty. Why is that, by the way? Well, that's part of our uh, civilian control tradition, Melissa. But the fact is, uh, they put it in there just so you wouldn't indiscriminately do it. Uh, General Mattis will have no problems getting that wave, and he'll have no problems with confirmation. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand disagrees. I mean, she was one of the first to stand up and say that she has nothing but respect for him, but it's in there for a reason, like you said, to separate, you know, the military from uh, and have civilian control over it. So she's not willing to put that waiver in. Um, does she have a point? No. <laughs> the fact is, we've been, we, Melissa, we've been at war 15 years. We need someone to get in there and solve this war and close it down and defeat radical Islam. If we listened to Kristen Hildebrand, we'd be at war for 100 years. We need people that know how to win wars and end them, who can deter and dissuade enemies. And that's why I believe President Trump, President elect Trump, is sending the right signal to the world that General Mattis is going to be our new Secretary of Defense. Consider this. President Trump, when he's president, gets off the phone with Vlad Putin and says, Vlad, I agree with you, but I need to check with my Secretary of Defense, Mad Dog. <laughs> now, just that alone is worth a deterrent wing of B-21 new nuclear bombers. Yeah. We want to deter our enemies. I so that's why I think this is the right choice. Yeah, I, I can imagine him calling him Vlad as well. Um, that makes a lot of sense to me. Do, do you think that General Mattis, what, how is his approach differently? I mean, obviously from your tone, you think he's going to be very aggressive. Um, but he's also, you know, very cerebral and thoughtful. How do you think his approach is going to be different from what we've done? I think it's going to be very balanced. But the fact is, when you have Iranian speedboats driving fast and threatening our ships in the uh, Gulf, when you have helicopters aiming weapons at us or fighters flying close by, that will stop. Because he'll tell them, if you take any provocative action towards us, we're going to shoot you down. That will stop. Many of the other things that the Iranians are doing in the Middle East will stop. And I assure you, within 30 to 60 days from the 20th of January, ISIS will no longer be called a caliphate. Yeah. Uh, I hope you're right. General, thank you for coming on. We really appreciate it. Thank you.